hello guys welcome back to the channel so this time we will uh, going to check uh, the power bi rest api part uh, in this video we will try to refresh our data set that is available that report is available in our my workspace okay so let's go through it first so this is my cloud power bi cloud here and you can see my workspace this one so your report is in my workspace so this is the first condition okay and uh, I will share you this uh, sample uh, report here you can see this is a sample report and this for this sample report uh, we have this uh, data set here so this uh, data set you can see design demo one uh, the gateway is configured okay cut in cell and everything is fine and I can show you the refresh so far so I can see here uh, this last refresh I just did at uh, 11.30 and right now it's uh, 11.39 okay so only one entry is there and uh, other older entries we have for 11.7 okay but uh, for, from the scheduler we have only one entry so now what we will do we will go to the refresh page Okay, so the API document page and they allow you know demo here so you can try some demo so you, they, they have this section that uh, when you when you click on try it it will come up with this window and now you can try it here so I will just copy my ID and sign out to just show you again okay so I will share this link in the description part so we have this uh, URL and you can see the data set refresh okay so refresh data set part is there but important thing is it is from my workspace so this will trigger a refresh for the specified data set from my workspace okay and there is another one that if you are part of some group and you want to do it from there then this is another link okay and another document that includes the group ID plus data set ID in this we have only data set ID so let's try it so sign in okay so I just sign in here and now I need to copy my data set ID from here you can see data set and I will copy this one copy and uh, sorry where is my page okay sorry here so data set ID we will copy here and this is uh, you have three options no notification I don't need any notification okay so this become your endpoint here okay and your parameter is added you can see the data set ID and let's okay so here what the uh, what this UI is providing is your authorization okay once you log it in it will give you this uh, token and based on this token you will be authorized so let's run and so 202 let's go and check the history okay so there is a in progress is running right let's close it let check it again oh it is completed you can see this so this is how we have initiated so it's basically we triggered the desert data set refresh okay so that data set refresh is completed and now that is something we did uh, using the API kind of things okay using the rest API so you can easily implement this thing in your uh, web application to make more uh, advantage on Power BI reports and uh, now there is a few important things that is related to the API part so if you want to build some custom application that it that is going to comes under Power BI embedded so this is a link here I will save this uh, means I will share this link as well you have to go through this document please uh, read this document understand because it's not that uh, you know straightforward because there is a lot of things uh, in prerequisites 
you need power bi account you need uh, microsoft Word subscription you know active directory tenant and uh, other things you know so you need to uh, thought all the things and you need to talk to your power bi admin or whoever those guys are okay and then you can decide okay you, you will implement the power bi uh, embedded application that will use a single power bi pro account and host or means you will publish it on internet uh, or, or some whatever the web application where you want to publish it now that will be shared across your organization and your clients or your organization people employees they will access this power bi report that you have developed but they don't need pro license or they don't need power bi account they can just go and use it simple like a web application so for that you need to go through this one okay understand how this is going to work and they have provided the demo okay so you can go and download the demo from the git okay and try it uh, in your local so that is something uh, you guys can do and this something is associated with the power bi rest api because uh, here also you need to generate token similar way you will understand how to generate token programmatically that uh, uh, this code will help you okay okay i hope this uh, video will help you to understand uh, or it will help you to begin with the power bi rest api I hope you like this video please uh, like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon and write down your comments if you have any issues please reach us I will try to uh, contact you uh, to solve your problem um, as a best of my knowledge so please comment okay thank you